Hey everybody, uh, Mike Denny here, and today we're going to look at the Sun Salutation B warm-up, uh, Surya Namaskara B in Sanskrit. And so if you practice, say, Vinyasa style or Ashtanga Yoga, these moves will be very familiar to you. Um, so I'm going to show you a way to modify it to get certain benefits that are very hard for most people to access, even experienced people. And so for these sun salutes, we'll actually be doing it with our feet uh, hip distance, just for the sake of simplicity, in every pose. And so if you haven't seen my sun salute A video, I'd watch that first, and this will give you a lot of clarity on how to do these ones. Start with your feet about uh, hip distance or so, slightly turned out. And then as you exhale, bend the knees, reach a little bit towards the floor. Inhale, lift the arms to our first position. Look down the nose towards the thumbs. And then exhale, fold forward and touch the floor just beyond your feet. Look to belly button. Inhale, lean into the hands and look up. Strong straight arms. Exhale, step to high plank. Then lower the knees to the floor and then hips. Inhale to a back bend. Lift your hands and shoulders away from the floor. Lift the legs. And then exhaling, push up onto your knees to downward facing dog. And so step your right foot forward behind your right hand. With an inhale, reach the arms up. Bend your back knee. So this is our modification of warrior one. And then exhaling, take the hands forward. Step back to plank and drop the knees and hips. Inhale, lift the hands and shoulders off the floor, lift the legs. Exhale, push up onto your knees to down dog. Left foot steps forward behind the hands. Inhale to reach the arms up. So hands could be shoulder width, or we can look to the thumbs like we did before. And then exhale, push off the tip of the toe to come forward, plank pose, and then lower to the floor, dropping knees and hips. Again, inhale to the back bend, and then exhale, push up onto your knees to downward frog. So not to be confused with down dog, but it could be substituted for down dog, especially if you're stiff. Turn the feet out a few degrees, and let the hips and knees follow that. So this takes tight hamstrings out of the equation, allowing you to find your straight spine, allowing you to work the hip flexors, lifting the sit bones. This is really the pattern to focus on if you're stiff. Good, chest is engaging, hands pressing towards each other. And on your next exhale breath, bend the knees, look to the hands. Inhale, step behind the hands. And then exhale, fold. Once you're empty, look to the belly button. Chair pose, bending the knees. Inhale to reach up, either shoulder width looking straight ahead or hands together at about eye level. Exhale, mountain pose. And so the really tricky part of the sun salute is warrior one position. And the mistake that I see about probably 95% of the time in yoga classes is uh, People try to get their foot as far forward as possible, sacrificing the alignment of the back leg, which can hurt the ankle and knee. So this is what I often see. Often there's some lift of the leg, and people just kind of like thrust the foot as far forward as they can. And they're not able to actually do that pose with good alignment, so it ends up pulling the knee in, damaging the knee potentially. And then if they try to square the hips forward, this could be a very dangerous position for the back knee, um, as well as for the hip. They reach the arms up, that's also a bad position for the lower back, since that tends to arc the back even more. So to make this work, we're taking a short stance, and instead of thinking of the movement originating from the foot that steps forward, we want to think of it originating from the back foot. So watch this. It's going to be a two-step program. So I'm in down dog, and then I'm going to bring my left foot forward and turn the hip out a bit. I'm going to push off the tip of that toe to step my right foot near my right hand. So that way my feet will be about hip width from each other and it will be a short distance. 
And then as you slowly come up, think about your front leg hip going back. So right hip slides back, left leg spins in. And then that's the proper hip position. From there, imagine you're breaking a karate block with your left hand and your arms are gonna guide the movement of the legs. So take a breath in to prepare. And as you exhale, drive from the left hip. So left hip presses forward with the hand, right hip slides back. And then if you lift your left arm, um, organize your back leg so you can find a little bit of stretch at the front of the left hip. And then we'll do it all on the other side, but I'll face the camera this time. So from plank pose, lower to the floor, dropping knees and hips. Inhale to a back bend, lifting the shoulders away from the floor. Exhale, push up onto your knees to down dog. And then take an extra breath to get set up. So this time, as we exhale, we'll contract the abs, bring the right foot forward a few inches, turning out at the foot and the hip and then step the left foot towards the left hand. You'll probably have to lift your palm a bit if you're stiff or if you have long limbs. And then contract the buttocks, left hip slides back. And just in case that didn't work, we'll chop a block. Eventually you'll organize the hips in the same way that the block chopping technique does before you even step forward. So pull your right arm back and you're gonna let your hips move with you. So notice what happens with the back foot. As the right hand presses forward, the right heel lifts, allowing the leg to spin inwards a little bit easier. And the left hip is going to slide back. Good. So keep tone in the back of the legs, buttock and hamstrings. Slowly reach forward with the right arm, then lift up. See if you can find a stretch in the right hip. And then exhale, push off tip of the toe, take the hands to the floor. Strongly step back to plank and then drop your knees and your hips down. Inhale to the back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. So let's do it in real time once more. Come into downward facing dog. And as you exhale, bring the left foot forward a few inches, turning the hip out. Step right foot behind the hands. Inhale to come up. Press your left hand forward with the hip, lifting the heel. Left leg turns in, right hip slides back. As you exhale, take the hands to the floor and lower all the way down. Inhale to the back bend, strong upper back. Exhale, push up onto your knees to downward dog. Take an extra breath, we'll do the other foot. So exhaling, engage the abdominal core, turn the right foot out, bringing it forward, and then step the left foot towards the hands. You can even let that back heel lift up. And as you inhale, press the right hip forward, right hand forward, try to stretch into your hip. The left leg slides back, pressing the knee outwards. Exhale, plank pose, pushing off tip of toes, then lower down, knees, then hips. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, down dog, about five breath. And we'll pretend that was five. Bend the knees out to the sides, look to your hands. Inhale, step or jump, half lift. Exhale, fold, bent knees, look to your belly button. Before you come up, lift your chin. Inhale to chair. Exhale, arms at sides, mountain pose. And then here's where it goes. Um, for people that have uh, been doing yoga for a really long time, they can incorporate some kind of fancy tricks. Um, they're not necessary tricks. And the idea is that you keep the same sensations in the body, the same muscle recruitments in the intermediate form that you could feel in the more basic poses that make it easier to recruit the right muscles. So I'll do a little demo for you. Exhale to bend the knees. Oh, there's my glutes. Inhale to reach the arms up, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Look to belly button once you're empty. Inhale, lift the head. 
Exhale to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale to the back bend. And then exhale, down dog, two-step program. Inhale, stretching left psoas muscles, extend the hip, chin behind arms. Exhale, plank pose to chaturanga. Inhale, back bending. Exhale, down dog from the core. Left foot steps forward. Inhale, spread the arms, then look thumbs. Exhale, plank pose to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, strong upper back. Exhale, down dog, five deep breath. Use the lower palm to draw the hips away from the hands. And then find the secondary action of gripping with fingertips, looking to navel. End of exhale. Contract the abs. Plank pose to downward frog. Inhale to jump. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair posture. And then exhale, stand in mountain pose, samasthiti. So I hope that was useful. Um, I wish I knew this stuff when I started practicing. I just kind of winged it and hurt myself quite a bit in the beginning. And then with experience, learned to slow it down, uh, modify, and just try to feel, feel good in the poses, make them work for you. Really try not to be attached to some idea about what it's supposed to look like, and just try to feel it internally Try to relax and focus on your breathing, and the benefits will come. Thank you. Namaste.